Oscar asks, um, what is the I4 I5 supplement A? Can I use it to apply for a green card if I enter without inspection? Okay, so I-485 A is a supplemental application you submit when you're applying for a green card in the United States adjustment of status. It's based on INA 245I. There's a statute, a regulation that says, um, how should we put it? So if you're gonna file for a green card in the United States, uh, it's called adjustment of status. Uh, the rules are listed in uh, section INA, Immigration Nationality Act, section 245. And it says that if you, before a certain year, like 2001, there's an exact date to it, had an application or petition pending for you, uh, and this is very simplified what I'm saying, um, you could potentially still be able to adjust status and get a green card in the United States because you had an application pending way back when. And so if you have proof of that ap proper application pending and you have another way to adjust status or on that existing application, adjust status, apply for a green card in the United States, even if you came in without permission, even if you, uh, you worked here without permission, you'll still be able to file for a green card. Now, this is called 245i. What I said was so simplified that I do not want you to rely on that. You really need to have a proper analysis of this uh, because there's a lot of different aspects. The way they've written this rule and, and they made out this rule over time is so complicated. It took me hours and hours to fully understand uh, how to deal with it. Uh, but that's INA 245I. It depends on if you had a petition pending. So a lot of times in my, in my, my consultation with clients, I ask like, well, do your parents have a green card, for example? Because, and they say, yeah, they do. Well, if your parents have a green card, potentially that child who's, who came in without permission or overstayed uh, comes to my office, um, they can get a green card too because they were in on their parents' application back in the 1990s. And even though they had these violations, it's forgiven. We just need to have proof that that case was filed uh, and then have another way or existing way to get apply for the green card. But it gets kind of complicated. Just know that yeah, if you have uh, some sort of case that was started for you or maybe your parents, you were a derivative of that case, a beneficiary of that case, well, um, like your grandparent applied for your mom, your dad, and you would have been on that case. Uh, and that case was started in the 90s, maybe in 2000. There's an exact date cut off on that. Uh, maybe you could file for a green card in the United States and not have to do consular processing, meaning leave the United States to an interview at the embassy to be able to get your green card. I hope you enjoyed this educational video. Also, you'll find our social media site has a lot more videos, images, and information about the U.S. immigration process. Please check those out on the various social media websites.